Hello everyone, Dr. Ziyat Ahir here. This video tutorial is about 3D steady state heat transfer analysis in a Bacchus workbench and that heat transfer analysis through double pan window and that is a double pan window or it's commonly called as double glazed window. So two glass, glass one is on inside and one on outside each have thickness 4 millimeter separated by 10 millimeter air. Thermal conductivity of glass on both sides is 0.8 watt per meter per Kelvin and air it has thermal conductivity of 0 0.025 watt per meter per degree Celsius. Inside room temperature is 20 and convective heat transfer coefficient for inside is 10 watt per meter square. Outside temperature is minus 10 and heat capacity uh, convective heat transfer coefficient for outside is 30 watt per meter per degree celsius although it looks a 2d problem but i am going to solve it as 3d and i am going to assume height and depth of this window as 30 millimeter although 30 millimeter is not a very realistic one but still for analysis purpose and to save computation time I'm going to reduce that height and depth of window as 30. So what is required here? Determine temperature T1, T2, T3, and T4 in the center of the window, right in the middle and along uh, at mid height and at mid depth. And plot temperature variation at both surfaces of inside glass layer and outside glass layer. So also, the temperature variation. So two temperatures are required and temperature variation are required. So this is an example 13.9 from chapter 13, heat transfer and mass transport, a first class course in the finite element method by Darrell Logan, sixth edition. And this video tutorial is a part of the series ANSYS Workbench Thermal Analysis and few preliminary video about that about 2d and 3d so like with the more detailed uh, procedure so you can find out in the playlist here so here are steps to our outlines of this video and these are the steps which you need to follow for this analysis the first one is project to start steady state thermal project then in engineering data add material then in geometry using design modeler need to sketch all that and then in the model material assignment to all the component and then need to create a path for temperature distribution and then to check connections then mesh using suitable element size and then applying boundary conditions in the setup steady state thermal and the boundary conditions are convection on the both sides need to add film coefficient which is coefficient of uh, convective heat transfer coefficient and temperature and in the solution temperature of overall distribution of the temperature or temperature contour, contour plots are required and then specific temperature along that path is desired then you need to solve it and then to get results so the first step is to start project in ansys workbench so that is workbench and here on the left you have toolbox in that one you have analysis systems and in that analysis system double click on steady state thermal and when you double click on steady state thermal then you will have a project so for that one there are seven steps first is steady state thermal engineering data geometry model setup solution and results and i'm going to do all these by step by step so you can save it somewhere in your i have saved in computer 3d composite wall next step in engineering data need to add material and for steady state thermal only thermal conductivity is required so here double click on engineering data a new tab will open and in that one here we can create a new material glass and another new material air and for air thermal conductivity drag that here and for glass also add thermal conductivity so for air thermal conductivity is 0 0.025 watt per meter per kelvin and for glass 
thermal conductivity is 0.8 watt per meter per Kelvin. So now you can see for air the thermal conductivity and for glass it is the thermal conductivity. So I am going to save it. So once it's saved, so you can close that one. Next step is in the geometry analysis type 3D. And for that one here in the geometry. And then here you can see in the properties advanced geometry options. That is already 3D. And then right click. And the next step after that is to start design modular geometry. And right click here and new design uh, design modeler and so that is a new window for design modeler and here here are the steps for that so in the sketch preferably from hotter surface so first sketch the hotter surface and then give it dimension extrude depth and then generate so i am going to start with that glass its thickness is 4 millimeter and both height and depth are 30 millimeter. So in the design modeler, so I, I can select that XY plane. And in that XY plane before that, because here uh, the units are for all the sketch, they are millimeter. So right at the start, set the units as millimeter. And then you can draw it in any plane. So let's say I'm going to draw that uh, in xy plane and here you have modeling click on xy plane and then in the sketching first you need to go setting and set grid show in and then snap for that and the major grid i am going to take it as two millimeter and then then minor steps for major i am setting one i'm not going to okay and then you can go here draw and then each is two millimeters. So in the draw, you can select a rectangle. So starting from center, so that is somewhere. So you have drawn it and then go to dimension to check that one. So display dimension is value as well. So in general, so that is H14. And then H2 is 32. So I am go just going to do it 30. So now uh, once that, so here that sketch is there. So now uh, you can go, you can insert extrude and click extrude. And now in the 3D view, you can see it is going to give extrusion along positive Z axis. So here, its depth is 30 and then in operation you need to add material in operation you need to add material so then right click on extrude and then generate so that is now the first first part is generated and i'm going to rename that inside glass so that is first created and now on the top of that, the next one, air need to be created. And what are the steps for that? So the next step, you need to sketch a relatively colder surface by giving a dimension. And then when you are going to extrude and give depth, you need to, in operation, you need to add frozen. And that is to develop contact. So now uh, this part is important. So I want to draw that on this surface on this face or this surface and for that one need to create a new plane on here so new plane on here and for that one i am going to add a new plane so you can see that plane 4 is there and now that is plane 4 you can rename that and then type type is from face so, and it says that not selected. So, the face is not selected. So, you are going to select that face. So, that face is selected. So, you can go to the corner to set the coordinate system. So, like as, and then you click on 
so then that is the coordinate system okay so if you go to the corner so it will set the coordinate system so i want to keep that coordinate system in parallel with the global and then you can change that by clicking on it you can change its z direction as well okay so it is being applied so once applied you can generate that so now that is being generated now this plane clicking on that plane go to sketching again i recommend that there new and then two and then it is one okay so now i am going to draw a rectangle right on top of that so start from the center and then that you have drawn it so it's turned to blue or otherwise you can check its dimension so so it's a new dimension make over constraint so it's mean that if you're not able to add any dimension so it's mean that uh, the dimensions are they are like what you have the previous one so if you are not able to add any of the dimension okay so once you've done that one so now the sketch so you can see that in the plane 4 you have that sketch 2 and on that sketch you need to extrude so now you can see that its extrusion is going towards x axis and then this is equal to the thickness of glass which is 10 meter 10 millimeter so 10 so yeah that is 10 millimeter and now operation you need to for the second one operation you need to add frozen to create a new so here add frozen okay and then that is very important to create a new body and then generate so now you can see that uh, then that is extrude one and that is extrude two created this solid I am going to rename that as air. Now, in the similar way, you need to create another uh, geometry. Uh, uh, you need to sketch that. And for that one, again, you need to create a new plane. So that is a new plane. Here, plane 5. And then here, here type from face. And it's a not selected. So go there, select. So So go to plane 5 and then here select that one and its coordinate apply so then generate and now that plane is being generated and on that plane now i want to draw the new one so click on that plane go to sketching and again in the setting grade on snap on and then uh, major grid spacing 2 and then the minor is 1 and then draw draw a rectangle so let's say starting from the center and then so now you can see it's a blue blue mean that it is exactly matches with the edges okay so now you can go to the model here that is a sketch 3 and on that one apply extrude and now it is going to do it 4 but it is uh, like 10 it gave and now i change it to 4 and then that is extrude 3 and then generate that one but what i did i forgot to apply here add frozen so now i have renamed that as outside glass so now you have extrude 1 then you have extrude 2 then you have extrude 3 then you have inside glass then you have air and then you have outside glass so all that sketching part or drawing part is done so you can save it so once it's saved so you can simply close that one so next step is model and for that one go here the geometry is done now double click on model so that is a new model and the first step in the model go to geometry and then material assignment but before that in the home 
and change the units to the standard one or here change the units to meter the standard one okay so you have drawn that uh, sketch in millimeter but uh, when you are going to change the units here so it will go into standard one so in the geometry inside glass and material assignment for that is glass then air material assignment is air and then outside glass and its material is glass so now for inside glass Material is glass for air, is material air, and then for outside it is glass again. Next step is to create path in the construction geometry, and for that, uh, in the mod model, go to construction geometry tab, and then create a path for that. And why is that path required? The path is required to plot temperature variation at the both surfaces, and then to determine that temperatures. And for this one. Here by clicking on the model, go to the model here in the construction geometry path. So that is the path. So I am going to rename that as A. And for that path, the number of sampling points they are 17. So the total width of that is 18. So I want temperature distribution about each millimeter. And for that one, I need to go to 17. And then I need to set these coordinates. As I need that right in the center, so both x and y coordinate will be 15 millimeters. Uh, sorry, y and z coordinate will be 15 millimeter for both. And for the start, it will be zero, and for end, it will be 18. So now these are the both of, uh, and here you can see that. So. that is one and two okay so like this is one and two so one is right in the center here so three one right in the center here and two right in the center here so now that path is being created the next step is to get connection and for that go to contact and Contract region, contact region bonded and for that one here are the connection so there are two contacts so that is the contact region one between glass and air so that are the contact region shown there okay and that is the contact region two so that contact region two between uh, air and glass the next step is to match by using suitable element size and for that one here is the mesh and element size i am keeping here 1 millimeter so 1 millimeter is the element size and generate it so that mesh is being generated so that is uniform mesh everywhere is being generated now next step is in the setup and steady state thermal need to apply boundary conditions and condition one on the inside glass the temperature and heat transfer coefficient is given and for the outside glass temperature and heat transfer coefficient so for that in the steady state by clicking on steady state thermal go to environment and then convection and then plot geometry phase and for that one here in the steady state thermal right click on that insert convection and I'm going to rename that convection as inside. And then here in the environment convection, I'm going to name that convection as outside. Okay, now I'm going to apply on outside. So convection outside here select phase so that phase is being selected apply and the convection outside is 30 and the temperature is minus 10 outside okay so that is being selected outside now for inside for inside rotate a little bit that is for inside now go to inside select a phase so that phase selected 
applied on that inside thermal uh, convective heat transfer coefficient is 10 and inside temperature is 22 so now that convection on inside is being applied so now on inside it is 20 degree celsius temperature and 10 watt per meter square per degree celsius and for outside for outside it is minus 10 temperature and 30 degree celsius so now both boundary condition they are being applied so next step in the solution uh, in the thermal you need to apply temperature and temperature for whole of the body so here in the solution insert thermal temperature and that is the temperature for whole of the body and then temperature for path and the scoping method is path and then you need to give path name so here in the solution temperature and temperature i am going to rename that as temperature as path and then the scoping met, uh, method is path and then the path name is path A. I have given a name. So now these are the solution is set. So the next step is solve. And so now click on the solution and then solve. And it will take some time to get the solution. So now there are tick on that solution. It means that solution is done. And next step is results and to get results along that path and here in the results you can click on the so that is the temperature contour plot maximum is 14 and the minimum is 8.15 and that is on the colder surface colder edge that oh sorry that is inside and that is outside so now for the temperature that is the temperature along the path and that is temperature distribution along the path okay so let's say this one this is the temperature distribution that is from one that is two and then the temperature like is 14.479 right at that edge and at that edge is 8.15 I have an analytical solution for this 1D problem. So results P1 14.5, then P2 14.2 at that interface, then other interface that is minus 7.8 and then outside it is minus 8.15. So here, like the temperature is 14.49 rounding to, it will be 14.5 T1. Then T2 is actually at four. Uh, for after four millimeter along that path so somewhere here and that is its value is 14.2 which is 14.2 and then the next one is along 14 millimeter along that path so here is the 14 millimeter along that path and the value of at that is minus 7.88 which is t3 mm -hmm. is 7.88 and finally at 18 along that path at the end 18 1.15 so that is 18.15 so this is uh, this one is all about the analysis and then you got the results now finally the summary for that 3d heat transfer analysis in ANSYS so the most tricky part in this one is the geometry so you need to start a steady state project and then using engineering data you need to add materials materials are air and glass you just need to add their thermal conductivity then in analysis i need to 3d and then in the design modeler you need to add, uh, draw all that three surfaces sorry all three parts and then start a model and in the model assign material to each part then need to create a path in the construction geometry and then check connection if they are bonded and then need to apply a thermal boundary condition using setup and that is a convection and in convection need to add film coefficient which is a convective heat transfer coefficient and temperature and then in the solution need to go thermal and temperature contour plot of the whole body and then temperature along that path and finally to get results.
so this is all about that 3d heat transfer analysis and, and quick work plan thank you very much for watching i hope that you like this video you can leave your comments or feedback